Now we have already seen that our network is ready, but we need to have a virtual machine which will work as our firewall or unified threat management system, a DNS server or DHCP server, which we can manage easily. That will be a software-based firewall, DHCP server. We'll create the virtual machine here and we'll install PFSense. So we'll be downloading PFSense. It needs only 500 megahertz of CPU and 512 MB of RAM. I'll be going for one gigahertz and RAM is one GB. I'll be going here to the download AMD architecture 64-bit and installer will be DVD image. This Frankfurt is nearest to me and download. Let us wait for this download to complete. All right, so here you can see that 548 MB of the file is downloaded here. So I'll be uploading this PFSense ISO image to Proxmox virtual environment. I'll go here to ISO, upload the ISO image, locate the path here, and it will be pfsense.iso. All right, so you can see here that the ISO image is uploaded now, which is pfsense.iso. Can create the VM. So there are two nodes available right now. I'll be creating in my PVE node because it has got the two network interface cards. The other one is not having two. You can see here that PVE2, this has only one network card here. So this is Zima Blade. So Zima Blade has only one network interface card and the Zima board has two network interface cards. So I'll be using one for the WAN and one for the LAN. That's why I'm using PVE1. I'll go here, create the VM. In the PVE node, its name will be PFSense. Use CD disk image and disk image is already here. ISO image, Linux kernel 2.6, which is fine. And here is the system configuration. I'll be choosing this also as a default and then disks so 8 gb is more than enough because this is for the home lab so i'll be going for 16 gb cpu one core for this particular vm memory it shows me 2048 so 1 gb ram is enough and right now it is showing vmbr0 i need to of course add two network switches here so i'll just show you that also so right now you can see here that machine 100 is created Go here to the hardware. You can see here that only one network is there, VMBR0. I'll be adding one more network here. Add network device and this will be with VMBR1. Now my PFSense has two virtual network cards connected to physical network cards. One is connected to the WAN, another is connected to the LAN. So zero will be used as WAN, one will be used as LAN. CD is also connected and network is also defined. Hard disk is also available. So I'll be just going back here and starting this console pfsense has started so we'll be just installing the pfsense on the local machine now accept the license agreement and install i'll just install it and auto zfs it will automatically choose the disk partition so i'll be using this and install with no redundancy this is fine virtual disk i'll be choosing virtual disk okay and it will destroy all the partition i agree to it yes and now we'll wait for this process to complete all right so installation is completed and i'll be just rebooting the server here and here i can go back to the machine here from the hardware i can remove this iso file now it has been installed so i'll be just removing it so i'll be going back here pfsense has started directly on the hard disk now you can see here vtnet 0 and vtnet 1 this is what we were doing earlier so here you can see here that i am right now connected on this particular network with pfsense i'll be connecting vmbr0 which will be having the ip address of 192.168.100.4 or it can directly also get from the dhcp it will be getting 100 dot something and then i'll be changing it of course to 100 dot 4 so it shows that enter the van interface so my van should be net 0 which is vmbr0 and net 1 is vmbr1 and here also if i go back to pve network and my vmbr0 is having the ip address of 100 range and this 240.2 is my internal vmbr0 is my external network vtnet0 is my wan interface and the lan interface will be of course vtnet1 so here you can see wan is now vtnet0 lan is vtnet1 i'll proceed yes now it will start configuring the network i'll just show you in the diagram so we were saying that it will get the IP address automatically, which is 192.168.100. something. 
you can see here that WAN IP is 192.168.100.224 and the LAN IP is 192.168.1.1. If I see my IP address in my computer right now, so right now my IP address is 192.168.31.162. I'll be disabling the DHCP server here in my existing network. You can see here I'm disconnected right now. So I'll be using IP config slash renew. The IP address that I got is 1.1. So now I can access the PFSense from here, which is 192.168.1.1. The default user is admin and password is PFSense. For my network, which I'm here right now, and I'm accessing the internet via my VMBR1, which is connected to PFSense. And through PFSense WAN port, I'm able to access this network also. And I'm also able to access this particular switch also, which is VMBR0 at 192.168.100.2. You can see here that this is 100.2. I can still access it because for my network, it is right now internet and I'll be able to access it, of course. But I won't be able to access my Wi-Fi access point because its IP address is in a different range. But that is working as a switch and as a Wi-Fi access point, it is fine. PFSense has started. I'll just simply accept the license agreement. So I'll be just changing the system manager password here. Save it. So I'll be going here to interface. You can see here in WAN interface, as I mentioned, instead of DHCP, I'll be using the static ipv4 address and my ipv4 address will be 192.168.100.4 24-bit save i'll be applying the configuration now press enter so it will show me the new ip address here you can see here 192.168.100.4 now i need to change the internal lan address also which is 192.168.1.1 so i should be changing it to 240.1 so i'll be going back here to the interfaces lan interface and here i'll be changing it instead of 1.1 i'll be changing it to 240.1 and here one more thing is that don't forget to adjust the dhcp server range also so i need to go back here to the services dhcp server here i need to change the dhcp server range which will be 240.1 so address pool range will be 240.100 will 240.199 and i'll save this also and now i can apply the changes here so we'll be waiting for the service to be restarted van address is 192.168.100.4 and lan address is 192.168.240.1 and this is what we wanted to have 192.168.240.102 this is the ip address that is has got pfsense 240.1 and here in the lan address i get the 240.1 and in the dhcp server you can see here the range is 240.100 till 240.199 dhcp is working fine my pfsense is working fine it is giving the ip addresses let's move to the another section and then we'll see the advanced networking in proxmox